For a downhill mountain bike racer, competing in the UCI World Cup Series is the absolute pinnacle of the sport. Riders from all corners of the globe will spend six months of the year on the road in pursuit of that elusive perfect race run that only the very best can win on any one day. There is no margin for error. For the Lafayette Gravity Republic team, they come into the new season off the back of an outstanding year in 2013. With 15 World Cup and World Championship podiums, four overall series medals and a junior World Cup win with the team finishing second overall in the standings. The only thing missing was an elite World Cup race win in the ultra-competitive men's category. In 2014, the pressure is on for the team's two elite riders, Sam Blankensop and Louis Bruni, to finally deliver that elusive first World Cup win. This is their dream. This is a life worth winning. Listen to this rhyming exhibition. I'm certain you ain't seen like an honest politician. This ain't just head hitting. A lot of pinched nerves are next are caused by bars that bless spitting. Wait, don't hate. I just move how I move. I can't describe what it is. I just do what I do. I am better than any rapper from here to wherever. And my legacy will harass my offsprings forever. I flow it right better than any. I'm the hottest. And trust me, that's not being conceited. That's being modest. I'm being honest. Pop up my collar. School of hard knocks. I graduated with honors. <laughs> I just do what I do. You see me? I just do what I do. I just do what I do. I don't know about you. I just do what I do. Check. I just do what I do. You see me? I just do what I do. I really felt, you know, when you're sure about something, I felt that uh, it was going to happen. Then I, I was thinking, okay, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And I said, okay, I will tell to the coach that it's going to happen. Hey, coach, it's for us, ça. Putain de merde! We all know that there's obviously a certain amount of strength that, that is required, but you need to have a balance in your body and you find a way where your human body is performing at its best power output. Everyone's working on small details. I think everyone's so close. Like you can be in the top 10 and you only be what, a second off the podium. Blanky is definitely my first choice for the for, for my heart and I can't be more proud of him and uh, more proud to, to work uh, for five years with him and uh, next couple of days we have uh, three days off in uh, the Big Apple in New York and after we go back in France waiting for the, the World Cup in Maribel then uh, it's kind of a straight line to the to the end of the season and we have to keep the pressure. Behind every top racer is a supportive family, and for the Bruni and Vergier families, this is no exception. In Cang Samer in the south of France, Loic and Loris are spending some time at their family homes before the World Cup final in the French town of Meribel. Welcome to Cang Samer. Here's Bruni's house. So uh, I'm going to show you around. So here's uh, I live. I still live with my parents, and I have a few stuff around here as you may uh, want to see. Fourth overall World Cup uh, ended last year. Crystal Globe, so this is, uh, this is Crystal. It was a surprise one, because after the last world round of the World Cup, I was uh, seven, and I did a pretty good race in the game, and, uh, and uh, came fourth, finally. Just in front of Sam Blankensop, so I beat him. We are nearly neighbor with Loic, so it's Awesome, I think, because we are in the same team, but we are so close. So. This one is uh, one of my dad's one, Luminuir, where we had the uh, national champs this year, 98, maybe 16 years ago. So I was fourth, and he was uh, racing in uh, Luminuir. Last year was uh, a big year, first year junior with uh, new everything, new team. It was hard with the, the crashes and everything, so. It was good to learn and to have good race and good result, but it's always harder when the, you are first year junior. So I take the title and it was just, uh, I think, incredible because it's always hard to, to be back on the bike and with no fear after a big crash. When I was nine, 
My first. It's my first race. Oi. It's my first race. Your first race, you won that. It's my first race trophy. Momo Valence in Lyon. It's a four cross race almost. 2004. I was I was nine. What? That was your first time on a race you ever did, and you won the yeah. trophy like that. Yeah, yeah, because I was alone. <laughs> yeah, this. On this race, I was uh, nine, so that's why uh, I was alone. So I had no chance to lose. There was no other races? No. So I'm looking up. 2010, uh, before I came on the team, I was scared about going, going to see him and asking him a jersey. So my friends came for me and asked uh, his jersey, and they gave me. I just won a poster of Loic because it was a, yeah, a downhill mountain bike legend. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty strange next year because uh, I will ride with the, this guy, and I'm still like a, a young man who's dreaming about these guys. So it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. And this one is 2011, my first year on the team, two a week with a with a small draw. You are a dick, haha. No, you're a good friend and we have good races to come. You will be number one. Some looking tough. Cool, no? And now uh, Blinky is leaving, uh, I'm Lin too. So we're going to be only two riders on the team. I will try to be the same with Loris that Blinky was to me, you know? Loïc is super content d'avoir couru au sein du même team que, que Sam. Sam, il aurait pu être avare de, de donner de, de l'expérience, de voilà, de montrer peut-être des trajectoires ou quoi. Or, il a quand même pris Loïc sous son aile. Je ouais. pense que ça, ça, ça l'a aidé aussi. Donc maintenant, c'est vrai que des fois c'est Sam qui est devant, des fois c'est Loïc. Bon, ben bientôt, ça sera pareil avec Loïc et Loris. I know I, I am already uh, like a big brother to Loris, but I will try to stay to stay someone like this for him because uh, I know him actually since we're four. I hope. Nothing is gonna change. When I used to be a small racer, I came with my father because he racing he was raced to two with the Loic's father and Loic's two. We were together with Loic and just watched them fight on the bike like come on. It was a good thing because we always learn about the friendship between two racers. He écoutait beaucoup. Il avait il voulait beaucoup de conseils. On lui disait il faut rouler ici, rouler là. Rouler à fond, rouler doucement ici, et Loris écoutait beaucoup. C'est pour ça qu'il a bien progressé, il a progressé très rapidement parce qu'il était avide de conseils. Je pense que l'aspect spectacle, adrénaline, vitesse et tout mélangé, ça l'a vraiment attiré pour qu'il vienne sur la descente. Je pense que mes parents ont un grand rôle dans ma jeune carrière. Et c'est le même pour chaque rider. Si vous n'avez personne qui vous pousse ou qui vous croit en vous quand vous êtes jeune, you can't drive three hours to go on the races by yourself, you know? I love when my parents are coming on the race because I feel less pressure when they are here. My family are pretty good and I love my family. So, and when you win, it's you share the moment, you know? The final race of the season had arrived and for the Lapierre team, this was more than just a last chance to prove their worth in front of the French crowd. For junior rider Loris Vergier, the overall World Cup title was within grasp. And for Loic Bruni, this was the race where he could turn around his fortunes in front of expectant friends and family, as well as the thousands of fans who had come to support him. Yeah, coming to Mirabel, we had some a lot of things to prove on this one because it was the last chance. Honestly, I enjoyed the full week because I, I could feel that every people was passionate on the bike. So they were like looking at the bike, looking at the track, the riders and all like enjoying really the race. C'est sûr que Loïc, il avait du poids sur les épaules parce que médiatiquement, il a en France, coureur français, qui peut gagner la Coupe du Monde, une manche de Coupe du Monde. Je pense qu'il y avait beaucoup de personnes qui attendaient que ce soit en France, tu vois, qui gagne la manche de, de Mérivel. Quelque chose. Riding uh, in front of your family, your friends, uh, a lot of crowd and uh, a lot of partners with the good products, with good looking, with, uh, with yellow plate. And I said, okay, just enjoy. During the last, the whole week, I didn't think about being serious or save my energy. I just stayed on the pit, talked with people, talked with my friend who came, with my family. I really enjoyed everything. After his puncher in Wyndham, Loic arrived in Meribau with a point to prove. 
Having not been on the podium since the first World Cup of the season in South Africa, there would be no better way to renew his confidence and motivation than a result in front of his home crowd. For junior rider Loris Vergier, a season-long points battle with American rider Lucas Shaw had culminated in a last race showdown which would decide the overall series winner. As the current title holder, after winning the competition in 2013, Loris was hungry for more titles before his step up to the elite category the following year. With the forthcoming Junior World Championship also in his mind, Vergier was keen to get one over on his rival and prove to the rest of the field he was the man to beat in the junior category. We are so close with Luca. We have maybe 15 points. So between the first and the second place, you have 20 points. So if I win, I win. And if you win, it's over. But we will see if it's OK or if I add it or not. Yeah, yeah, uh, I've seen it. He looks pretty good, like always, and he looks concentrated and focused on the, the race, like... Hey. Last man down the hill and attacking the challenging course with the maturity of a racer many more years his senior, Vergier stormed into the finish area with a gap of over three seconds on fellow junior rider Laurie Greenland. Vergier was able to wrap up the race win and the Junior World Cup title in front of a jubilant home crowd. What a good day. Now it's just like a dream. But I think uh, in two hours it's going to be perfect. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. It's not sensation like this in the world. Just cross the line and win in front of the Frenchies. Moi, moi j'ai trouvé ça euh, génial parce qu'il y avait une ambiance euh, de feu, tout le monde criait, tout le monde pleurait quand il a il a gagné. On, on s'est tous serrés dans les bras, c'était chaleureux comme euh, comme ambiance, c'est vraiment j'ai j'ai adoré. Was one of the yeah, I think the best race of my life in France and in the world. It proved that he's uh, really strong. I think his time will be hard to, to beat also for, for the big boys. And I'm really proud of that. I think this race is uh, just to prove uh, before the world that, uh, that he's able to, uh, to win and uh, he's able to make some good time also, to make a good time uh, for when he will be uh, elite rider next season. Yeah, today is... Uh final of the final so it's one of the last day of the season so we all are pretty excited and sad I'm sad because uh, I didn't have a really great season so I would like to have more runs of the World Cups and I don't want it to finish but uh, I have to enjoy the day and to to commit if I can grab a podium here I'll be really really happy of course, I will try to win because I feel uh, I feel good. So I hope uh, I hope I will have a good run and finish a good result. The life of a top downhill racer is built upon fine margins. Races can be won or lost in a split second. Confidence can be lost or gained in an instant, and whole careers can swivel based on a single race result but the strongest minds have always found a way to overcome the harsh challenges of racing and take their place amongst the legends of the sport. On a senti qu'il y avait une atmosphère particulière, comme si ça s'était un peu suspendu, à un moment il n'y avait plus de bruit, jusqu'à ce que on le voit vraiment physiquement, puisqu'on était en bas de la piste. Moi, l'écran, je ne le regardais pas. Hein. Mais quand on l'a vu là-haut, on aurait dit qu'il y a une ferveur qui est montée. Et euh, là, c'était simplement euh, super. For a racer's family, watching them hurtle down the mountain on a race run can seem like they're right there on the bike with them. As Loic rails every turn and pins every rock section, his mum Sylvie is living every moment on the bike from the bottom of the course. Allez, 
as Loic fires his way into the finish arena. The suspense is unbearable. 30 seconds seems like a lifetime as he traverses his way across the grassy piste in the pursuit of a life-changing result in front of a huge French crowd. Such a good moment, you know, when I crossed the line after a season like this, I had a good run. And I saw the, I, it wasn't a green light, but it was one second of Samir. And I was so happy to see everyone, so I just high five every people on the side, just like, oh, yeah, thanks. I think he was there, like in a dream. He was really happy, he was really happy with all this atmosphere, this ambiance, this population. I felt uh, that I didn't succeed to anything, but I felt that I reached, I reached a, a good point, you know. I could tell to my little kid, yeah, well, like, uh, it was like a miracle, I had a lot of fun, thousands, it was good, you know. End of the season, of the World Cup season, in two weeks we have the world, but uh, we finish the World Cup on the top, all together, and uh, it's the happy end, as usual, and it was a great pleasure to enjoy this good time with uh, all these uh, four incredible riders. I expected uh, a good result for me to end the season and I finished on the box so I'm really happy. Uh, proud of being French because uh, the crowd was insane. After a tough season of ups and downs for Bruni, his result in Meribel acted as a kind of redemption. But for the Frenchman and his team, the ultimate goal remains and learning from mistakes made in 2014 will be the key to success in the future. Je pense que c'est vraiment pas évident de gagner en descente et voilà, et je pense qu'il se sentait capable sur, euh, de gagner sur deux courses, sur une ou deux courses. Et ça l'a pas fait parce qu'il y a plein de paramètres qui rentrent en jeu, les, euh, les autres pilotes sont très forts aussi, donc il y, y a peu d'écart entre les pilotes. Euh, pourquoi ça l'a pas fait ben voilà, C'est des questions qu'on se pose pour, euh, pour essayer de, de résoudre ça et y arriver l'année prochaine en tout cas. Mais logiquement, quand il claquera sa première, ça, va, ça changera tout le déroulement de de sa carrière, de sa saison et de sa carrière. Even when you have a shit season, like I, not a shit season, but a so-so season, you're really happy to see that you're not forgotten totally, you know? They still want you to win, they still believe in you. As long as you're racing, they believe in you, you know? So that's cool. With the 2014 World Cup season over, junior rider Loris Vergier shifts his attention towards World Championships in Hafjell, Norway. His last race run as a junior before his step up to elite racing in 2015 is a successful one. And he adds the coveted rainbow stripes and the title of junior world champion to his achievements in an outstanding 2014 season. With Vergier confirmed to join his close friend and compatriot Bruni in the elite category on the team in 2015 and with a production version of the brand new Lapierre bike to aid them in their performance, the sky is truly the limit for the Lapierre Gravity Republic team in 2015.